Hello everyone, it's time for another video. I found some good stuff this time. And it took me a little bit of driving and going different places, but I finally um, hit something. So it started out with a family run estate sale. I, I was hoping it was for older folks because that's where I find the things I like the most. But um, it was a lady probably just a little bit younger than me. So uh, I guess that's not so young anymore anyways. Uh, everything in the bathroom was 50 cents. So, hairspray. I even got this Vera Wang brand new cologne for 50 cents. This Lafco uh, lotion, some Jovan Musk, uh, all for 50 cents. Um, and that was it at that sale. Uh, there wasn't anything really that great in jewelry. I got this for 50 cents at another family run estate sale, and it was an older one, and it was. It was on my way to the church rummage sale, and I went there first, but I, I kind of got there just like 20 minutes late, and you know that first 20 minutes, that's important, so I messed up, uh, I heard because I heard someone say Pyrex, and, oh, okay, but I found this digging around in a tub in the garage that nobody else had noticed, and I got it for 50 cents, so it is, got, it does have sequins, so somebody has spent some time blinging this out for 50 cents and that's definitely a vintage one it looks like 90s 80s or 90s tree skirt uh also at the rummage sale i didn't show you this so this was also in the christmas room and i got this metal sleigh for two dollars and then all of these elves slash gnomes whatever they are seven dollars for the set this one has a, oops i'm telling you right there everything else seems to be okay so we got some sleeping ones we've got some ones that are more alert <laughs> so it was seven dollars for all of them all those go to my friend for her little christmas sale and uh also went to a sale where i got the tub of christmas decorations for six dollars this is the reason I went. I found an RS Prussia bowl, and uh, very pretty. This is a Fleur de Lis pattern with some mixed roses. I think I've got it kind of cockeyed here, but anyways, a beautiful bowl. <clears throat> Let's see if I can show you the mark on the back right there. That's the correct mark. There are fake marks that look somewhat like that, and if you don't know, you may end up buying something that is a fake. So there's that. And it was $20. So well worth it. At the same sale where I got the tree skirt, I found this on a wall in the bedroom. And I'm going to give this to my niece uh, as a holiday gift. Life is fragile, fragile, hand with prayer, 1970s, cruel work. And she's going to love that. And no, she doesn't watch my channel, so she, she won't know that I got it. Uh, the last couple of things, uh, three things, are these. I went to what I thought was going to be an estate sale, and it turned out to be like a garage, driveway, patio kind of sale. Um, like a woman was selling her in-laws items, and I thought, like, you don't want us to come in the house? She was, oh, it's my house. So... I got a few things and uh, people were starting to descend because it was supposed to be starting at 10 and I'm pulling up just before 10 and they're already open and people are walking away with stuff. I'm going, rats, I got here, I should have got here quicker. But I got this Fenton uh, right here and I'm, this was $5, a little Fenton fairy lamp with the decoration and it is signed on the inside. If I can show you real quick. So there's the signature. That was five. I paid up for this. I paid 15. It is a 1960s um, jewelry casket in good shape. And I've got it turned where you can see the price. But there we go. It's got the gold velvet inside. These are really, really fun and very popular. And I also got... Um, like a antique thread cabinet, but that is in the back of my car. I cannot get it out on my own. It's heavy, but I could deal with the heavy. I just can't get my arms wrapped completely around it to haul it out. So 
I'm gonna have to wait till some friends come by. I also got this piece of pottery. I it has no name on the bottom, and I'm thinking it looks so much. Um, but I just can't tell what what this is. What do y'all think it is? Absolutely nothing on the bottom. But this white roses decor. Whoops, sorry. Um, is common, and I'm just, I went completely blank uh, on who I thought it was. But anyways, let me know what you think. Maybe some of you all know pottery, even unmarked, and what does unmarked sign signify? Um, is it a reproduct, a fake? Like is somebody trying to fake the same pot? I keep saying, thinking it wanted to say rookwood, and rookwood is not right. Um, but, or is this like an early piece that didn't get signed, or what do y'all think? Um, I'd appreciate your information from you. Take care, and I thank you so much for viewing. And if you um, haven't um, subscribed to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Bye-bye.